Hello everybody, I am back and I today will be going over Miss Natasha Zima. Zima? Natasha Zima. She is part of the uh, Shadow High Series 1 for Rainbow High. Um, they are completely grayscale. They are completely unique because they just come with this different skin tone for each doll. And it's actually grayscale, which is, I believe, part of the rainbow. And I believe it belongs where it is because it just, it, I, I'm so happy that they um, came out with grayscale dolls because gr the color gray is, you know, a part of all colors. And I just, I think it's amazing and it's so creative how they came up with this line. Um, she is completely white. Literally, she is a ghost but she is stunning still, and I'm so for it. Um, you can watch them on YouTube here. They're, they have their name Shadow High over here. Let your true colors shine at the top. She does come with a second outfit and a pair of shoes. Here's all the characters at the bottom, wraps around. She is a cosmetic chemistry focus. And here are all the characters on the back. I finally completed my gray, my uh, grayscale collection of all of them. This one, I was looking for her. I was so scared that they weren't gonna have her, but there was a bunch of other Rainbow High dolls in front of her. So I was a little worried, but she was probably the last one there. Uh, even though that they're released the 25th, I was just like, I'm going to Walmart. I'm not going anywhere else. Let's, let's see what we can find. But here she is. And I am so excited for these characters on the web show. Um, I stopped watching Rainbow High because it just it's, gives me a headache. It's just so much catty, petty drama. And I'm just like, I don't care. I I really hope that Shadow High and Rainbow High have like some competition together where they come head to head and they have to do some sort of like mind games or whatever. I don't know. That'd be really cool. Um, but it's, I just, I love these boxes because they're just the opposite way. They're, they're like a reverse of the Rainbow High boxes, which is, I find very creative because I was very, I was very, uh, curious about how they were going to do this display. Um, the boxes are very easy to open, so let's get let's get to it. There's two pieces of tape at the top. I'm just gonna cut behind them, and it's a simple little. Boop. You just flip it up. Flip it up. Beautiful. And she does come with a stand behind the second outfit here. And her stand is completely white with silver embedded glitter. The Shadow High dolls do not come with coat hangers or hangers, unfortunately. Because they do have a second outfit. I don't know why they don't. But here's her stand. I like these stands because they're a little different than the Rainbow High ones. They have little studs around the base and on the comb. And it says SH for Shadow High there. Natasha! She is stunning. Look, just look at her. I don't like the feathers. That's the only thing I'm not crazy about with this doll is the feathers. But I guess they'll, they'll grow on me. She's held in at the ankles. She's held in at the wrists. She's held in at the waist. Her hair is held in by two little straps on each end for each side. I 
And for these dolls with really wavy hair, I kind of like the little grips for the hair in the box because it kind of just gives it like a crimp, a very natural crimp. Remember back in the day when Barbie dolls used to have those little plastic rectangles that had their hair sewn into and you had to rip it out and all the hair was just <sighs> nightmare. So to properly, what, what I absolutely love to do to get these properly out without ripping their hair or hurting them is take your middle finger and your thumb, put it on the ears of the doll, take your pointer finger, put it on the top of the head, and just, just as ever so lightly, just rip. These dolls are stunning in person. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I am so happy. Wow, 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 wow. She is gorgeous. Okay. Here we are, here is Natasha Zima. She's rocking this silver heel that has these, what are they? They're almost like little painted on buckles. <coughs> they almost remind me of snowboarding buckles, but they're heels. And they have these painted on little pearls at the bottom. They are held on with elastics because there's no ankle strap, which I find very clever that they used rubber bands because that's just like the OG way of putting on shoes for dolls. And then she has this godly, feathery, sparkly bow, like maxi dress. She has this huge bow in the front, all the little rhinestones. I just love the detail to this. And there are uh, feather trim at the bottom of the dress and at the top of her bust. Her nails are pointed. It's hard to see. I really wish this camera did me justice. But I'm not gonna be touching her out of her first outfit, so I really don't mind the feathers. But in the back, there's a little bow with a little like rhinestone. And it's held together with Velcro. And her earrings, she has one that says S, and then the other one that says H for Shadow High. There are these gorgeous dangly earrings. I really love the detail that they put on these earrings. So beautiful. I'm glad that they're not dangly and like they move a lot. Thank God they don't. Because it would, they would just get caught in her hair and that would be a nightmare. But she has this gorgeous gray lip that fades into like a pale white. She has a little bit of red pink blush on her cheeks, which I th find just so beautiful. It really like makes her alive almost. It just brings her to life. And she has these gorgeous blue and green eyes. Her makeup is just uh, a white eye shadow that is surrounded with some gray and white glitter. I love that they kept that um, the eyelashes and the eye, the cat eye, the same color as a lot of the other dolls, so it really makes their eyes pop. She has these very faint gray uh, eyebrows. And she also, her hairline, I love her hairline. I'm, I was looking for a hairline that was just not Heather, because there are so many Heathers that I have found where, I'll show you actually, because mine has it, and I need, I need a new Heather. Literally, her hairline st like stops in the middle of her forehead. It's so wonky, like on the black side where it just, 
her hairline just divots into her forehead. I need a new Heather. But that's it. I've, I've been seeing it everywhere. And I don't know what it's caused, but I know it's bad hair rooting and it's the machines. But like anyone's going to fall for a wonky hairline. Um, that's the only thing I have about this line is the Heathers. I can't find a perfect Heather, but one day, hopefully I will. Uh, she has this gorgeous, gorgeous, silky white hair that it's like a half up, half down. And it's just crimped. It's almost, it's a lot more wavy and smooth than Harper Dune. But she just, her hair is so haunting. It's so beautiful. And just everything about this doll, I believe, just fits perfectly. Her look is just, matches the color perfectly. I just really, really am appreciative for this line because finally they're released. And finally that there is a continuum of the rainbow with some grayscale. And I just, with the collections I see of people's rainbow high dolls mixed with the gray, uh, shadow high dolls, it just looks so natural. It's like, here's the rainbow and here's the organic part of the rainbow with all the grayscale because, you know, every color, there's a shade of gray and you can make gray with like almost anything. But her skin tone just, I love, 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 love Natasha. She is stunning. I'm not a fan of the characters on the webisodes. I just, when I see the dolls and then I see the characters come to life, I just, it just throws me off and it just makes me feel like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I love, I love the dolls more than the <laughs> online characters. She does have uh, the double neck articulation so she can move her neck and pose, which is godly. And she also has this little bracelet that she comes with. It's a little, like almost pearls from, it does come off. And so do her hands. Um, which you just have to pinch on each side and just twist a million times. It's okay. You will successfully get your doll's hands off and they will not break. She's articulated at the knee, the hip, the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulders. And she is just serving. Her hairline, her rooting on this side is a little wonky, but that's okay. I'm not gonna fret. Natasha. I'm gonna put her on her stand and I'm gonna go over her second outfit. Her second outfit comes in these uh, similar boxes to the Rainbow Highs, <laughs> but this, this cool part, is that they come in steel-proof boxes, which I find amazing. These people are ruthless. Her second outfit, oh my goodness, so beautiful, so beautiful. These boxes are very easy to open. They're kind of just put together like origami. And just boop, ta-da. Her second outfit is this gorgeous, silky, fake fur coat that is wrapped around in little makeshift pearls going all around the trimming and all of the sleeves and the back and the front. It is just so beautifully put together. The stitching is beautiful. Just the detail is stunning. And then she comes with this gorgeous little crop top that matches her skirt. And it is a, a white pleather with a white sh like sheer, like up here. And 
It is covered in little thick pearls and it is a two piece. The I love that the two pieces match each other. It is just so beautiful. It wraps around with all these little pearl details and it has these little plastic um, gummy straps at the top. It is so beautiful. The detail and this just, ugh. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then for her shoes, she has these knee high sparkly fabric heels that are just caked with glue at the bottom. It is ho so hard to hide the glue for this doll and her second shoes. But I, the detail is just breathtaking. I absolutely love these shoes. I will not be putting them on her because I've heard it's a nightmare and they're fabric and I'm just not for it. But and I probably will not be touching them a lot because they do break. I've seen in people's pictures and videos that they do break at the bottom where the glue seam connects. I just, I love the style. I think they're so beautiful. I bet they do look phenomenal on her. I just, I just want to give you a review of them so I don't have to, you know, put them on her. But here they are. They almost remind me of Ruby slippers, but in like a grayscale way. Does she come with anything else? Nope. She does come with a comb though. It is in the same box as that the doll comes in. It's in the little corner here. I'll show you the comb because it is similar to the base, the doll stand. It is this, gr this white, gray, uh, there's metallic sparkles on the inside that are embedded. It is studded at the top here. And it says Shadow High SH right there. And it is perfect. I love it. In fact, give this girl a good brush if you can. Ta da! Her hair is a little wonk at the top here, but that's okay. I'll just restyle it. Here is Natasha Zima, everybody. I would love to hear what you guys think about this line. Who is your favorite character? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and have a lovely week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. Have a great one.